And this is RK Niner. Look at this line, and this is only a third of the line. It's a great legs. That's a cheese grater. That's a cheese grater costume. Now we bring it here. That's the pre registration line, and this is the actual line. Oof. Weighted mine simulator, 2024. <laughs> The cheese grater! Oh no! One. Show us your legs. Nice! <laughs> that is the ferry for the furries. Wow, look at that mouth. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. Oh, wait. Train, bridge, and Lots of people down there. The ferry. Look at the mouth. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. All the silly furries. All the silly furries. All the silly furries. All the silly furries. <laughs> Look at all this. This is probably from last year's Anthrocon from 2023. And here's all the stuff. <laughs> this is the sticker wall. And there's a biblically accurate furry. Beware, the lethal company is here. The soldier of Team Fortress 2 is here to save us. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu said that. And I'd say he knows a little more about fighting than you do, pal, because he invented it. And then he perfected it so that no living man could best him in the ring of honor. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> Some very nice fursuits again. Nice. Have a good day. You too. That is such a cute fursuit. I did not realize that the episode was right there. Yes. <laughs> I got, I just got in and I'm really lazy, so I'm just like, you're going to skip you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh shit, there's a oh, car no, in the um, dealer's den. But yeah, this is the dealer's den being set up. <laughs> Full car. But yeah, dealer's den being set up. I haven't seen that one. Oh shit, more cars. Damn, this is a full on loading zone of cars and such. And here comes another. <laughs> oh crap, more cars. Here's the other side of the dealer's den. Nothing much to see here. Very nice fursuit. That's not much. Mostly the first day stuff, after all. Not much. Very nice suits! Very cute. Otter in a pool. Nice. I found the... <laughs> there are so many furries here. I'm at Pizza Parma, as you can see right here at Pittsburgh. Uh, right there, Pizza Parma. 
to the furry land. They are doing a promotional event, right, with the like a uh, anthrocon thing. So here's the dog bowl special. I'm supposed to put like pizza and a bag of chips in here. It looks nice, but uh, that will ruin it and make it dirty. So I'm gonna put this aside and keep it. <laughs> you know what? This is really delicious. I like it. Mmm. So funny thing. How did some furries get stickers up there? What? Not gonna lie, this is quite nice. Messages, go ahead, look at them. Nothing bad's gonna happen. 
pictures, definitely download them and stare directly out of them. See if you can find find Waldo, aka Mallow. Best type. They get they get really easy as you go later on. It's weird, but they're super hard at first, and I love them for that challenge. There's no hard. Okay, good. No, no, Tim, no, 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 no,
<laughs> I mean, mm. I mean, Cthulhu, this is weird. weird. I'm not going to say that, that they might not have kids, but as far as the foundation knows, they don't have kids. So. Soup, 
or something along those lines. Mashed potatoes. Yes, it can, and it has done mashed potatoes. It got weird because it kept filling the room with mashed potatoes, but the person ate it, so I'm not going to complain. In this instance of the picture, because we found this one, it has to be rather wholesome, I'm going to share it. The recipient of this bowl that you see here on the screen, it filled with a soup, and that test subject had lost their relatives in a car crash. Parent, mom, mom, dad, siblings, they were the only survivors. And they were oh. <laughs> rather young for our test subjects. Uh, the bowl filled up, they ate, they felt a lot better, they felt actually pretty good, like they didn't feel, you know, survivor's guilt, which was one of the things we were really hoping for. And at the bottom, the bowl etched in, I love you. Which is what their mother used to tell them every time they fed them. So, good. Uh, so I'm glad you guys have the new time to Also, some of your guys' stuff fell off. I just put it over on the table. I can't file incident reports for a cookie going this thing. That's up to you guys. No, there's also a belt pick later on. That's almost. Um, but, so, whoever just called, so you called me a liar? You gotta take that back, Daddy. You do realize that, right? Please take it back. 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 I'll let him have you. That would be a deep blast. Take it back. Right. So, so one of the new things for this year is I have I have been asked by the O5 Council to do a survey. So for this, I'm going to actually sit so I don't want it. So all I put in here is a yay if you're going to. All I want to see is a hand. If you're going to do option one, keep your hand down if you're going to do option two, okay? okay. Is everybody ready? Everybody paying attention? We're good? Yeah. All right. Smash or pass? I have to cover his face. The top is still showing. We're dead. <laughs> Call it Kasune, help there. I'm not trying to shame you. I literally have to explain. This is great. 
So this, this is a vending machine that will give you anything you want. Do you like coffee? So, for those who like coffee, who has called it a cup of Joe? No, no. Congratulations, you literally ordered a cup of someone named Joe. He takes it literally. Who's Joe? We have asked the D class to stop trying to put in divide by zero. Because they tried it. Well, what about multiply by zero? Okay, you get nothing. Good day, sir. All right, let me check my time real quick because I want to make sure that it's going to be seven. Cool. We still got a couple minutes. I'll speed this up a little bit more. Go ahead, next panel. Who wants to fuck a guy in a sheet? I know.
SCP-3660, where is it? <laughs> I am not allowing you to smash the SCP! That is not a, a smashable SCP, it's a zipper! It's a zipper! It's not the con you're thinking of, because this was happened last year too. So... So this is the deodorant <laughs> gun. And here's all the people at the SCP Foundation. Very nice. Thank you. This is all the cosplayers for the SCP Foundation. This is a better view. Uh, you want to be an FDF member? Feel free to talk to Ken. Otherwise, I am not going to be an here. Saying hi. Bubsy's here. Oop. This is the opening ceremony. Which is going to be returned to them shortly so they can actually get that money for first hurry con. We got a panel for that. It's run by Alkali Business. It is tomorrow morning. Where and when is it tomorrow morning? Well, you should check sked, anthracon.sked.com. Uh, we have our charity auction Sunday at noon. We have our charity comedy show Sunday here at 3 p.m. A con for students as well. Imagine it's like if you've ever seen like a, a movie where you got like the cool guy and the cool girl and they're like squaring off against each other. Just add a whole carpet on top of it and that's Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, right. trust me, it's how it works. Well, you got the schedule and anything we didn't mention, you can find the schedule at the URL there or on the convenient QR code on the back of your badge. Oh, By the way, the badge is this year printed a little funny. People say, your badge is printed upside down. No, it is not. The badge is printed so that you don't have to read it. All you got to do is flip it up this way. And it has a timetable when everything opens and closes at the con. All right. Spark, thank you so much, my friend. So, so much of our programming is dedicated to helping out those in need, as I like to say, helping those who give voice to those who have no voice of their own. Every year, we choose a local Pittsburgh charity that helps out animals. I'm going to ask Stormy to come up here to give us a little bit of insight into who your money will be helping this year. Good evening. I am uh, Stormy, I'm the charity lead off sign for uh, Anthrocon. Uh, we are going to be doing a bucket brigade event through the weekend. Uh, so if you're a first suitor, please come downstairs and visit us at the charity table. We can have you go out in the first suit and collect donations for us. Additionally, we are going to be doing a charity raffle. Uh, come on down, check all the items out we have, and see if you'd like to um, purchase some tickets and then see if you can get your chances at winning for something from the raffle. Also, we will have the charity auction on Sunday. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce the co-founder of Great Paw Sanctuary, Darla. Darla, if you'd like to come on out. are so beautiful and the energy here is just so positive and warm and I cry when I get emotional so I just want to thank you all um, in advance for your donations um, and many of you already donated we really appreciate it um, Great Paw Sanctuary is a mission of love we don't have anyone who gets paid a salary we don't um, pay anyone for anything even the people who take our, our senior dogs into their homes and love them uh, we at Arbor or at Great Paws support that home. We pay for the medical care for the duration of the life of that dog. We also support families to keep senior dogs in the homes that they um, are already with so that they don't have to be rehomed. I don't see the PowerPoint anywhere. 
Is it Miss Miss Peace? No. Okay, I have a little screen that um, had some photographs of the beautiful senior dogs that we, there it is. Um, the beautiful dogs that we've rescued, some of them. And there's also a few statistics that are gonna come up and, and some of them are very sad statistics. But I wanna tell you tonight that the good news is that across the United States, dog surrender is actually lower than it used to be. So we're making progress. Our society is embracing companion animals more. But the sad fact is that a senior dog, when they're taken to a shelter, there's only a one in 10 chance that they're gonna make it out alive. So we really need to focus on the plight of senior dogs. And I appreciate you all reaching into your own community. When you go home, if you're not from the Pittsburgh area, find out where the rescues are that help with senior animals. Um, and make a donation, volunteer, open up your home to take a senior dog, because they really need it. Look at that, 11,000 dogs are surrendered every day in this country, and it's not okay, but we're making progress. So again, I just want to thank all of you for your donations and attention and your commitment to animals in general. The fact that Anthrocon does this for a charity each year is just amazing and is so appreciated and needed, and I thank you. fantastic, we have a wonderful husband, the co-founder. He's over there, he's very shy, he didn't want to be up here. And, and we have a great group of volunteers, there's a great big group now, yeah, I'll scream, Woo! And throughout the convention, please stop by the table and, and meet us and talk with us, and we're also doing a presentation where we're gonna talk about the work that we do more specifically, and how you can be prepared to help a senior dog in your community, or a, a stray dog that you may find out in the community, how you can be um, a key player in helping that dog. Without further ado, I'm gonna turn this over back to the Dr. Thank you, Darla, thank you, Stormy. Again, furries are known for their generosity, Let's see if we can't break some records this year. Those dogs need your help. And remember everybody, every dog is the best dog. You gotta pet every single one of those doggos whenever you can. And if you were me, then that means that you'd literally be doing nothing all day but petting doggos, and Uncle Kaga would be mad at me. Now we're gonna give you a, a couple of reminders. Uh, I mentioned that the, the art show was moving upstairs, the dealer's room was expanding, and I, I mentioned that we, we, we tried to do what we did last year for registration because that seemed to work really good. We're not gonna do that next year, I can guarantee you. We're, we're gonna work on that. I have personal apologies. Um, one thing that we did hopefully improve this year is the lineup for the dealer's room. You may have seen some tape lines on the floor in the concourse. We are hoping to have an orderly set of lines this year, tomorrow morning, when the dealer's room opens in, in, in the morning, that we want to have an orderly set of lines as opposed to the angry mob we had last year. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen. At 11.30, our beloved ultra sponsors, we're going to let them go in. When they have gone in, we're going to let our equally beloved, if not as rich, super sponsors <laughs> go in, followed by the sponsors, followed by, certainly not the least, the entire bulk of Amphicon's membership. I do want to give you a heads up. The big joke used to be that we had more space here than we can ever possibly need. Obviously, that's not the case. This building can only hold so many people. And as much as I wish we could let every single person into the dealer's room on opening day, the point is going to come where we're going to have to say, guys, we can't. I'm sorry. We will get everybody into the room as soon as we can, as safely as we can. So, people are gonna say, it's line con, you know what? Yeah, because the alternative is unthinkable. Deal with it. <laughs> Anything to add to that, Mr. Noodle? Yeah, actually, uh, aside from scaring half our attendees to death, 
Uh, we will be able to find all this information about the updates to the dealer's line and updates to pretty much everything that's happening on our social media. So, you know, if you've already been following Anthrocon on different platforms like Twitter, because nobody here really calls it X, let's be honest, or Facebook, or Blue Sky, or our Telegram announcement group, which is pretty handy, you'll be able to find all of the updates that are happening as soon as we know about them. Although on the flip side, we would also want to stress that you exercise a little bit more patience and a little bit more understanding with all of our staff and volunteers and our partners in the hotels as well, so that, you know, things might take a little bit longer and you might have to wait a little bit, but rest assured, we still want you to have the best possible time here at Anthro Coaster 2024. And a reminder, despite the size of this organization, something that I realized only this year, many people had not been aware of. Every person wearing the yellow staff badge, every director, even the chairman of this organization is a volunteer. We are not paid for what we do. These folk are doing this out of love for the community, out of love for you. Please be patient with them. They are absolutely doing their best. And I will state as the longtime chairman of this organization, I have got the best damned group of volunteers of anybody else out there and I'll fight you. and our partners all around the city, we also want you guys to take care of yourselves. And there's one rule that a lot of congoers that have been to any convention, not just furry conventions, but any conventions, have drilled into their minds to keep themselves feeling healthy and being able to enjoy the con. Kage, do, do you know the three magic numbers of that rule that we're talking about? This oh, I hear them saying it out there already. The rule, the rule is the six... Two, one, rule. That is six hours of sleep. You cannot go on two hours of sleep. You think you can. Take it from Dr. Mulvey, who was taking care of some folk downstairs earlier. You can't. Two hot bowls of noodles. Uh, okay, provided that comes with protein and vegetables too. Two good meals. Monster energy is not a meal. No, it is not. I'll fight you. Give it. Give it. And one minimally one hot, fresh shower. Please. Six hours of sleep. That's for you. Two good meals. That's for you. What did that's for us? That one's for us, please. Especially with how muggy it is outside. I don't care if you come from Florida. We can still smell you. Hey, hi, Florida. We can still smell you. And you had a shower. So please, do everybody a favor. A flavor? Wow, I've got do the flavor. Do everybody a favor and please have that one shower a day minimum. We are also asking folk the... We, we have emerged from the long international human tragedy that was the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm sorry to tell you as a scientist, it, it is here to stay. It's not going to go away. We as a species have got to live with it. As we have lived with many other illnesses through the centuries. To that end, if you are not feeling well, if you've got a really runny nose or a sore throat, or bubonic plague or something like that, or if you're bleeding from your nipples, we are asking you oh, please. Oh, no. <laughs> don't come into con space for the safety and health and happiness of your fellow furries. If you absolutely must, just as we did a few years ago, please wear a mask. It will protect other people from the little visitors you brought with you. Remember folks, it's up to us to take care of each other. Whether it's attendees taking care of attendees, volunteers taking care of volunteers, or amp taking care of the city of Pittsburgh, 
We all get through this together and we all have fun together. So keep each other in mind and let's have an awesome weekend without uh, catching anything nasty. What do you say, guys? I would be remiss if I did not point out Emricon has a long-standing tradition of making itself accessible to everyone who wants it. We actually have an accessibility department and we are joined this year, as we have been for many years and hopefully many years to come, by representatives of sign language interpreting professionals. Big and Lauren, our interpreters, are here to make sure everyone can enjoy this convention. You're totally not going to make Big do the thing, right? Do it. That will depend on how much money the tickets to the charity show get. So you best buy him quick so that you can see Big do his thing. Tickets to the charity show will be available at the charity table for a modest donation we request of $15. Um, and the beautiful thing is you can pay with your credit card. You don't have to worry, that's the bank's money. Just give the credit card to the charity people. That's how it works. Boy, anything else we do? Oh, uh, we have a very, very dedicated crew of uh, volunteers, many of whom are professionals in the industry. You will see them wearing red vests. That is our safety crew. They are here to make sure you are safe. They are here to make sure that you can keep having fun. They are also here to make sure that whatever you're doing to have fun isn't stopping somebody else from having fun. So, if one of our kindly, polite folk in the Red Vest asks you, could you kindly please not do such a thing, or they say, could you please do this sort of thing, do as they say. They are not here to ruin your weekend, they're here to save your weekend. Oh, get that? You know that for both new condors and also current condors or returning condors, it might be a little difficult to find information on your phone, if it's low battery, or if you've lost your con guide or something like that. So the best place to go for information while you're actually here at the convention is our convention operations room. You can find the Convention Operations Room in the Convention Center, Room 309. If you're going towards the Sky Bridge over there and towards the Dealer's Room, you can't miss it because they've got a nice big table that we have as our information desk. And within that room, we also have things such as our Lost and Found, if you've lost anything at the convention, and we also have our volunteers table as well. We've been talking a lot about volunteers and how basically everybody here from staff all the way down to board, or all the way down to board, kind of feels like that sometimes, all the way to the board, everyone's a volunteer. And with a convention this big, we cannot do it without your help. So if you have some time to spare and you want to make a difference in your community, please stop by the volunteer desk and let them know that you'd like to volunteer and we'll definitely find something that'll put use to uh, put use your skills and allow you to have some fun at the same time. And you might also get some swag as a reward from it too. So once again, if you're looking for information or if you've lost something or you simply want to help the convention out, visit room 309 in the convention center and our team will be more than happy to help you. And if you cannot get to 309, or you cannot get to 308, which is our safety office, you will find on the back of your badge a phone number. That is our hotline number. It goes both, both to our operations office and to our safety office. That number is printed at the, uh, at the bottom there. Uh, it is 412-723-8779, which we honestly did not realize until that number was assigned to us, spells out 412-PA-FURRY. <laughs> Happy accident. Works for me. All right, uh, let's see. We've talked about our hardware safety team. We've, we've talked about our 
volunteers, where to get help if you need it. Oh, and if you would like to make a donation to the charity, we have a convenient QR code on the back here. This is a really cool helmet. I like it. Pokemon, let's go! Woo! We have Undertale right here, Asriel and Toriel. Let's go! The color changes as well. It's slow but gradual, but it's also really cool. Let's go! Patrick Bateman is here. One and only, here to tell you about uh, how you should be partnering with Patrick Bateman, Vice President at Pierce and Pierce. I work with uh, mergers and execution, I mean uh, mergers and acquisitions, you know, same difference. And you should trust me, I'll take your funds, skyrocket them. Not like that bitch ass uh, Paul Allen, <laughs> fuck that guy. Very nice. Right. Team Fortress 2 Pyro, let's go! Registration. We got B here, very cybernetic too. Alright, it's recording. A few hours later and the dealer stand is really close to being fully set up. Very nice. <laughs> oh hey wait, I recognize that one. That one is the... Yeah, I've seen that one. It was at Anthro Ohio as well. Nice. We have a butler here named Ray. Got anything to say? It'll be an exquisite weekend, just to put it that way. Thank you. <laughs> That's really cute. The tongue is just out. <laughs> the fish magician. Let's go. Oh wait, wizard. <laughs> we got jacket from Hotline Miami. Ooh. The P90. They have the P90. Oh dear. Ooh. I think they actually used a real Mac Charge Plus. They gave a gave me a thumbs up. Nice. And here we have two very interesting fursuits. One's a partial, the other one's a full, very cute one. I really like it. Oh, it has the squeaky paws. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> uh, this is a <laughs> balloon dog suit. Whoa. Uh, thank you. Oh, oh dear. Ooh. Very energetic. I love it. In body suits, I just take trash bags and I cut them up and I tape them to the shape. Um, because I'm not a tailor, I'm a fursuit maker. So <laughs> that's how I do it. Um, so today's merch I don't have that much. I only got the pole, uh, the trip electric, uh, a light up LED lanyard, and this. Mainly because dealer is not open, so oh well. Very detailed suit. Very colorful too. <laughs> nice dance. We got Pomni as a furry. Very cool. And we also have a chest over here. Also very cool. And it's been like almost, it's past 8, 8.28 right now. Uh, look at all the stuff set up here. All ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna buy so much stuff. <laughs> Shit. Look at that one. Riding a freaking scooter in here. There are two more protogens. Aww. Very cute. There's a heart. And of course this one is also Star Wars themed. Very nice. The Proto Gen Dance. Let's go. See the flag of Ohio right there. Aw, some really cute uh well, I think it's Japanese styled like fursuits. Hi. More birds, let's go. Full bird. Yeah.
You can tell these two birdies are based off of Legend of Zelda birds. Hell yeah, let's go! This is an interesting combo. That's a bubble bubble tea for eight dollars. We're gonna try it for the first time. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, so I gotta keep the jar, but there's a lot of ice, so that's a lot of lemonade, but there's a lot of uh, quote unquote boba, so I'm gonna try it for the first time. That's not boba. That's literally just beads of strawberry syrup. Why? Definitely not boba. It's more like a dessert. Good lord. What a gimmick. And I can barely taste the lemonade. Ugh. So yeah, I give this a um, 2 out of 10. Yeah, 2 out of 10. It can be worse, but at least it's sweet. So I actually changed the uh, this LED tag to all of the case it said. It looks more fun now. Yay. Let's go. Three. I was like, hi, good to see you. Very cute. Uh, the Jasper. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Have a good day. I'm going to demote this, this F tier. Just bad. Like, eh, at the end, I don't like it. One out of ten, literally. Here's a really dapper uh, Brodo Gen. Let's go. Even have a top hat. Let's go. Well, today's the first day, Thursday. It's not technically the official start day, but it did start today at the, uh, what is it called? The opening ceremony. There's not much right now. There's furries, people eating at food places and all that such. Pretty fun. But yeah, I'm heading back and uh, yeah, I'm already quite tired. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Anyways, good eye signing out. Bye. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all this heavy rain. Oh my God. I don't think I found something over my head right now. The gate, all oh, this goddamn rain, holy shit. Oh my god. Let's, oh my god, it's getting worse. Oh. 